It's umsum time. What if bamboo disappeared? Huh? Oh no! I love to eat bamboo. Oh umsum. <laughs> To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. <laughs> Firstly, if bamboo disappeared, uh -huh. people living in bamboo houses would have to search for a new home. Hmm. Secondly, if bamboo disappeared, pandas who love to eat bamboos would be one sad lot. Hmm. Thirdly, Arashiyama Bamboo Grove is a famous bamboo forest in Japan. If bamboo disappeared, huh? tourists would be extremely disappointed. Hmm. Fourthly, some people love bamboo furniture. If bamboo disappeared, huh? their homes may suddenly start looking very empty. Hmm. Lastly, bamboo fibers are used to make shirts, pants, socks, etc. If bamboo disappeared, our clothing huh? options may come down. Hmm. Topic: Ignition temperature. <laughs> Why is it easier to burn dry leaves but not green leaves? Because it is easier to spell dry than green. Nah. Huh? It is because of ignition temperature. Ignition temperature is the lowest temperature at which a combustible substance starts burning. Now, green leaves have moisture or water in them. Wow. So I can use them as water balloons? <laughs> Please listen. Water has a property of absorbing a huge amount of heat before evaporating. <laughs> Hence, when we try to burn green leaves, a large amount of heat is required to first evaporate the water and then to reach the ignition temperature of leaves, thus not allowing the leaves to catch fire easily. Hmm. However, dry leaves don't have water in them. Hmm. Hence, they don't need much heat, making them burn easily. <laughs> Topic: Human nose. <laughs> Why does spicy food make your nose run? Because it is not that strong to make me run. <laughs> nah. Huh? Our nose consists of tiny hair and a sticky substance called mucus. Can I use this mucus to stick my broken vase? <laughs> Ooh, gross. Huh? Please don't do that mm. and listen. During breathing, the hair and mucus trap harmful substances, thus prohibiting them from entering deep inside the body. <laughs> huh? Now, spicy food items like chili, mustard, horseradish, and wasabi contain chemicals called capsaicin and allyl isothiocyanate. <laughs> when we eat such food items, the capsaicin and allyl isothiocyanate travel through the pharynx and reach our nose. Here, the chemicals activate the heat sensing receptors, thus causing inflammation in our nose and irritation of the mucus. <laughs> Hence, as a defense mechanism, more mucus is produced in our nose to get rid of these chemicals, thus making our nose run. <laughs> Topic: Pressure. <laughs> Why does popcorn pop? Because popcorn is a pop dancer. <laughs> nah. Oh. There are a variety of corns such as field corn, sweet corn, and popcorn. Oh. However, popcorn is the only corn that pops. Huh? Why? Does it have some magical powers? No. Oh. There are three things in a popcorn seed or kernel that work together to form a perfect popcorn. Those are an impermeable shell called pericarp, right water content, and starch. When we heat huh? popcorn kernels, the water inside oh. them forms steam and starts to expand, while the starch turns into a gel-like substance. Being enclosed, the expanding steam applies pressure on the shells. Eventually, when the shells cannot hold the pressure, they burst open, releasing the steam and gel. When this gel comes in contact with air, <laughs> it rapidly solidifies, forming fluffy popcorn. Topic: Red Eye Effect. <laughs> Why do my eyes glow red in photos? Because there is a devil hidden in you. Oh, stop bluffing. <laughs> All right, I'll explain. Hmm. It happens because of blood vessels in our eyes and pupil. Pupil is a small opening whose size is adjusted by the hmm. circular muscle called iris. In bright light, the iris contracts, making the pupil smaller, thus allowing less light to enter into our eyes. In dark, 
The iris relaxes, making the pupil larger, thus allowing more light to enter and also exposing the blood vessels in our eyes. Hence, when we take a photo in such a dark environment, the flash of light from the camera floods into our eyes at once. Some of this light gets reflected from the blood vessels onto the camera before our iris can contract, making our eyes glow red in photos. Topic: Myopia What causes nearsightedness? Excess staring at junk food. No. When light from an object enters our eyes, our eye lens bends it such that the image is formed on the retina. However, in some people, this image is formed before the retina. Such defect is called nearsightedness or myopia. A person with myopia cannot see distant objects clearly. But why? Wait, I'll explain. To focus image of a distant object on the retina, our eye lens becomes thin. However, in people with myopia, the lens cannot become adequately thin, thus forming image before the retina and making it difficult to see. Moreover, when the eyeball is elongated more than normal, the distance between the lens and the retina increases, resulting in the formation of image before the retina, thus causing difficulty in seeing the distant object. <laughs> Topic: Freckles. <laughs> huh? Why do we get freckles? Cuz they are being sold for free. Free, free, free. No. Huh? We get freckles because of melanin. Melanin is a pigment produced by cells called melanocytes in our skin. It gives color to our hair and skin. <laughs> Will it give color to my door? Oh, please listen. <laughs> Besides giving color, melanin also acts as a natural defense against the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation. When we are in the hot sun, our skin, which is exposed to the sunlight, activates its melanocytes, causing them to produce melanin. Melanin absorbs the ultraviolet radiation, thus protecting us and in due course darkening the skin. However, in some people, this melanin is not produced evenly. This means some parts of their skin produce more melanin as compared to other, mm. thus creating small dark patches on their skin called freckles. Mm. Topic: Snoring. <sighs> Why do we snore? I don't snore. I sing. <laughs> All right. Now let me explain. Mm. Snoring is a noisy, rattling sound occurring during sleep. Oh, really? I thought snoring is a pleasing piano sound. Please listen. Huh? Snoring is basically caused due to obstruction of air in our respiratory tract during breathing. When we breathe, we take in air through nose or mouth, which then passes down the throat into the lungs. Normally, when we aren't asleep, our mouth <laughs> parts like soft palate and uvula keep this tract wide open allowing air to pass easily. Hmm. However, excess growth of soft palate and uvula in some people causes snoring. Oh. So when these people sleep, these parts fall on the back of their throat, creating an obstruction. Hence, when they inhale, the air hits these parts making them vibrate, which we hear as snoring. <laughs> Topic: Lunar eclipse. <laughs> Why does the moon turn red? Huh? To scare us. No. <laughs> Moon does not have a light of its own. Why? Didn't he pay the electricity bill? <laughs> oh, huh? please listen. Sunlight or white light is a mixture of visible colors. Now, when the sunlight falls on the moon, it reflects all these visible colors equally, making the moon to mostly appear white. Mm. However, during a lunar eclipse, when the Earth is exactly between the sun and the moon, the moon appears red. This happens because of the Earth's atmosphere. When the sunlight coming from the sun passes through the Earth's atmosphere, the Earth's atmosphere scatters the colors of the sunlight having shorter wavelengths. However, red color, which has the longest wavelength, is least scattered. Hmm. Hence, it makes its way to the moon, making it look red. <laughs> Topic: Taste buds. <laughs> Why mint tastes cold? Maybe because it is manufactured in Antarctica. <laughs> Not at all. Wait, 
I'll explain. Hmm. Our tongue is actually a muscle which consists of many taste buds or receptors. Are they similar to my earbuds? <laughs> nah. Huh? When foods having flavors such as sweet, salty, sour, bitter, or umami come in contact with these taste receptors and activate them, they send signals to the brain, telling us their taste. However, when we eat mint, it feels or tastes mm. cold. This is because mint contains a compound called menthol. Menthol does not activate the taste receptors, but instead, it mm. activates the cold sensing receptors in our tongue. Hence, <laughs> these receptors send messages to our brain signaling cold. As a result, the brain thinks that something cold is present in our mouth, thus making mint <laughs> taste cold. 